Hey Great Dramas, how you doing? Today we're going to do something just a little bit different and we're going to go through a gin and tonic tasting using the exact same gin, Hendrix, as a control and we're trying seven different tonics. Why is this in my hand? That's where the ice is. So what I'm going to do now is pour, well, put an ice cube in, pour some gin and then we're going to try the tonics. Right, let's do this. Satisfying sound. Let's pour the gin. So, gins are in. Now, let's get on with the tonics. And they've got an array of different tonics here. We've got Fentiman's Light Tonic. We have Just the Tonic, Scottish Tonic Water, released recently. We've got Fever Tree uh, Refreshingly Light Tonic. Britvic Indian Light Tonic, low calorie, sorry. We've got Fentiman's Premium Indian Tonic Water. We've got Schweppes Slimline, and we have Aldi's own. So, let's pour. So, we're going to try and match up the exact same size. We're not doing garnishes today. No need for that. This must be the most riveting bit of, uh, of a consumer test film ever. Just pouring the tonic in. I'm done with that. Bosh! Fever tree. Brick back. That's the one. Tell you what though, this isn't a bad thing to do on a nice kind of beautiful just post sunset Tuesday evening. No longer roasting hot so it feels a bit more calm doing this. Oh, Schweppes, you cheeky effervescent little number. <coughs> Last by no means least. Ooh. An excitement of Aldi. Oh yeah, there we go. Right, so as you can see, and you've watched on film, the control is ice the same, glass the same. We're using the Glen Cairns, mostly because they're the m glasses I have the most of, but also I don't want to drink seven double gin and tonics or even single gin and tonics, so I want to have them in a smaller glass so they're more comparable. And then we will have the same measure and the same gin. Okay, let's crack on. So, Fentiman's Light Tonic. Uh, it's some botanically brewed light tannic water with herbal extracts. We're using a 200 ml bottle because we have a load of these in the house. Um, let's see. So on the nose, as you know from uh, Hendrix, and I'll just have a quick nose of the bottle. The gin itself is like very, very kind of light. It's quite a, a flavoursome gin, but has fantastic kind of that old cucumber uh, note to it, not just in the liquid, but as a serve. It's also quite a classic style. So it is actually a you know, small batch, handcrafted, 44% ABV, um, hand distilled and bottled in Scotland. Um, but what you have that in there is that lovely citrus character to it, a peel from like a lemon and a lime just coming through. Definitely, I see that juniper character. There is a hell of a lot going on with this gin, but all the while being quite light, quite fresh, quite enjoyable in its own right. So let's see what the different tonics do to that gin. So the Fentiman's Light here has brought out, definitely brought out the citrus character. Lemons, it's actually a little bit lemonade-y with, with this one. I like, I love the freshness of a good citrus gin, a uh, good citrus gin and tonic. And the herbaceous kind of side of it and the herbal side that you do get a little bit of when you're nosing the bottle or nosing it neat has been subdued. Let's try. Actually, no, we'll do it nose by nose first. So just the tonic. I have to say you're getting a hell of a lot more of the gin character here. 
that tasting the gin more than the tonic, which sometimes in pubs especially, you know, having a glass of tonic where it's had a, been shown the bottle of gin. But this for me is full on gin character, gin nose, nose very similar to the actual Hendrix itself. Very fresh. Fever tree refreshingly light. This one's quite subdued actually. Getting that citrus character, obviously getting that lovely, lovely kind of juniper note and that freshness, but you're really having to work for it. It's not got anywhere near the same vibrancy as the first two. Still nosing quite fresh and that citrus note getting even stronger. Britvic, low calorie. This one, strangely, has got less on the, the, uh, the citrus note but has a lot more on all the other botanicals in there. You're getting a lot more herbaceous kind of notes coming through, the juniper coming through, the, I think there's some kind of coriander or cardamom in there. And then just when you go back in, there's the faintest whiff of the lemon citrus peel. Fentiman's Premium Indian Tonic Water. Amping up that citrus note, really fresh. Lots of lovely flavours coming through, quite intertwined. It's hard to pick them apart, but you're getting that really nice gin character coming through. Not too dissimilar to just the tonic, actually, uh, with the actual gin cutting through the, the tonic taste. There you go. Still amped up, got that lemonade feel, just like the uh, Fentiman's light uh, tonic. So it's got amping up that citrus, giving it a slightly sweet wrap. All the while, still harking back to the original gin flavour profile. Schweppes. Oh, this one's a strange one. Feels a bit more, uh, more musty. I mean, now we're in there. It's It's apple-y. This one, it's the first time I've got an apple note off any of these. And a fresh cut of a fresh cut of an apple. You know when that little burst of juice comes out, that kind of note. Still getting that citrus, that cucumber, a lot more muted, a lot calmer. Very very smooth nose. Nothing kind of fighting. It's just saying, hey, there's a good gin in here. Let's see what you're about to do with it. Now the Albi, the wild card. For me, this brings out, similar to uh, just the tonic, Fenton's premium Indian tonic water, and Fenton's light tonic water, this one is bringing out a hell of a lot of the actual gin character. You're getting that cucumber, you're getting that citrus, you're getting that fundamental juniper component coming through. And even a kind of top note of uh, orange there, some orange peel in there as well. Very nice. <coughs> So let's try them in series. Mm. Wonderfully light, huge on the lemon character, a refreshing classic gin note coming through. Really, really nice. Lemons and limes, juniper. Oh, all with the kind of herbaceous back, uh, back of palate uh, flavour profile as well. Really, really nice. Incredibly refreshing. Mm. First time I've tried this tonic water. I'm really impressed. Gin character and just lifts it. Lifts it with a bit of vibrancy, a bit of energy, a bit of effervescence, and a bit of freshness. That thing is alive. I really enjoy that. Tree quite heavy on the quinine, which is their fundamental story, you don't forget. But you have got that lemon, lemon citrus, that lime citrus, that freshness. It feels heavier. It doesn't feel quite as light and, and, and refreshing as the other two so far. Mm. Terrific 
It's made it more creamy. A lot more orange notes coming through. Well, that's actually a lot better than the nose suggested. And it has lifted it as well, like a couple of the others, to be quite, it's still got a bit, bit heavier than the first two, despite being the low calorie one and the light one. But it has got a hell of a lot of flavor, absolutely loads of flavor, despite being slightly heavy. Um, I think there's, a, there's something really interesting in there. Quite viscous, quite thick in the mouth, quite creamy. Fenton's premium Indian tonic water, fantastic. You've got your lemons, you've got your limes. You're bringing out all of that amazing citrus character and that really refreshing gin just coming through with a, all with a nice bold tonic wrap around. I like that, it's not too heavy, definitely not too light. It's kind of just right there. You feel like you're getting a really kind of decent tonic, but you're also getting an incredibly enjoyable experience with your gin. See what Schweppes, named Schweppes by the way, because of the sound the bubbles make when you pour it into the glass. <coughs> FYI. Oh, cucumber note on the nose now. Mm. Now that's really interesting. Really light, really fresh. Got a hell of a lot of uh, competing citrus character and citrus notes coming through. Really, wow, really fruity. Didn't expect that. Really fruity, feels more fruity than the gin itself. I don't quite know how that's happened. But yeah, that's interesting. And definitely different to the others, especially with the orange, that's uh, that repeat kind of uh, flavor note coming out from the Schweppes specifically. Now, Aldi. You know what, it stands its own. I've often been a fan of um, supermarket tonics and this one does not let me down. It's got oomph, it's got flavor, it's got refreshment. What it does lack though is a bit of effervescence. I think the uh, thing out here, that one's actually died a little bit where I can see the bubbles going still and quite a few of the others. Um, so it's probably one to have with uh, single gins, uh, maybe slightly quicker, drink responsibly. Um, but that actually does capture the flavor really, really nicely. So there you have it. Seven tonics, one gin, seven glasses. Don't really know where I'm going with that. Um, and quite different experiences with the gin. Um, from my standpoint, as a top three, I don't really like ranking things like this, but the three I'd probably choose out of their interest uh, would be the Fentiman's, the how was it? Yeah, Fentiman's Premium Indian Tonic Water, the Just the Tonic Scottish uh, Tonic Water, and the Schweppes because of the really unexpected orange note. But it did something different for me to the liquid. Um, although I really thought uh, Brickvic and the Fentiman's Light Tonic did a really uh, wonderful job too. Um, but those three would be the three that I chose. Cheers! Until next time, great drivers. I might just finish these off.